Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to look at touch.nn.conv transpose 2D, which is like a building block of generative adversarial neural networks. Conv transpose 2D which takes some argument. So we, we are going to look at a very, very simple example. And this argument, I'm going to write them here, C in your uh, input ch channel size. So how many input, how many channels does your uh, input have? So for RGB, it is three. It also takes output channels C out, which I'm, I'm going to use C in to represent input channels and um, C out to represent output channels. It, it, uh, it also takes the kernel size K pardon. output pardon I'm going to use OP to represent so we are going to see what all of this mean in the computation bias B group G uh, dilation D I think that is all and separately for the simplicity we will use a batch size of 1 BS and my input height width of it is going to be 2 which why did I write and the height uh, is also going to be uh, 2 okay so the input channels will be one for simplicity, kernel will be three, three by three, stride will be two. Sorry, I didn't put stride. This should be pardon is one. Output pardon is also one. Bias will be true. Yes, we will use a bias term and this two will be one and by default they are actually one and the we should not forget about this stride which which is stride which is two okay so this module uses kind of this formula w x uh x times w plus b so x is your input and this x and the w which is the kernel um, i mean called kernel in some cases this w or the kernel k uh is kind of randomly created by pytorch and there's also a b this b with the w uh all uh, all of them are going to have uh, this dimension so the input x is uh, always have to uh, will always have this dimension w n and the w will always have this dimension c n c out divided by a group g then k by k, k is three. So you can actually specify k in the height and width of the of k to have uh, different dimensions. B will always have this dimension, and y will have this dimension. B s h out, c out, h out, then w out. All right, but we actually don't know what H out and 
uh, W out R. So let me write them. Let me shift this paper a bit. Okay. Uh, H out. Uh, the formula to compute H out, which I got from the PyTorch documentation, is H in minus 1 times stride minus 2 times pardon times the dilation D times K minus 1 plus 4P. By the way, you don't need to worry about what group and dilation actually mean. I mean, uh, by default, they are one, so we kind of don't think uh, much about that. Uh, w out is W in minus 1, this W in times right minus 2 times pardon times the dilation, uh, kernel size minus 1 times output pardon plus 1. And if you plug everything in this uh, everything here in the formula you will end up with 4 and 4 all right so let's see how the cal uh, computation is performed so say your input is this one zero zero one and your w W is one zero two zero one zero one zero zero. By the way, this still governs this uh, dimension of this W. Uh, K is three three by three. That's why we have three by three. C N is one, and this is also one. C I'll divide by group, so one is also one. And it is literally one by one by three by three, this. Um, but for simplicity, I did not make kind of try to write, make the dimension to be one, one, three, three in the drawing. Anyways, so, and we are going to add the, uh, the bias. But before we add the bias, let's compute this. Uh, let's tran conv transpose this x on w or w on x i don't know which one is uh, right to say okay so the first thing that we need to do is uh take this four and subtract this output pattern so originally the part the result has a dimension of three by three because of the output pattern it became four by four so four minus output pattern one is three by three so what you need to do first is create four by three by three four minus one three by three this is actually your, your original output and then look at this pattern one then part this result by one so add uh Height and width to each side of each size of each side of this three by three. So I'm going to come here and say, excuse my drawing by the way. And so I've added uh, height and width to the original output. Now it is kind of five by five, but forget about that. So this, don't forget, this 3 by 3 is like your uh, original output. So what we need to do is take this one, multiply it by each value in this top loop, and that will give you this portion, the result of this, this first portion. So 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 2 is 2 and um, 0, 1 so I took 1 and multiplied by everything to get this first part then shift uh, 2 steps because we have stride of 2 and that's how we are going to get this second part just like kind of normal uh, convolution works 0 times everything inside will give you 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 
then shift uh, two steps to this uh, portion of this big matrix take 0 and multiply it by everything you are going to get 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 then shift two steps to get this part of this big matrix take 1 and multiply it by everything inside this W so I'm going to end up with 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay. I hope you are good. So, you know, I told you that the original output is actually this red matrix, this red one. But the output pattern is 1. So, since it is like that, we need to take uh, this, uh, this, part of the output of this red matrix shift right uh, one step and shift down one step because output pattern is one so then the final output will include this part of the uh, of this big matrix if the output pattern was zero, you are not going to shift uh, to the right uh, one step. So you will end up with a four by four. Four by four. Sorry, this is should be like this. And well, you need to add everything in each box. Add the numbers in the box. But nevertheless, our output is this part of this big matrix. So here, uh, one is one. I mean. Uh, it, we are not going to add anything because it's just one inside the box then zero yeah zero here yeah, zero zero then one zero this is two zero plus two then zero 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 sorry this is one then zero then zero one zero zero all right, now we are done with this part of the equation. Then plus bias. Bias, let's see, it is one. Dimension is one. And the value inside, let's see, it is one for simplicity. And when you add it, obviously, Sorry for my drawing, by the way. <laughs> when you add one to everything here, you will end up with uh, two, one, 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 two, zero, three, one, one, two, zero, one. Sorry, this is one, one, two, one, one. And this is your Y. This is Y. This is the output that you are going to get. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, see you in the next videos. Maybe I'm going to make one more video to look at the same module, but a kind of more complicated example. Maybe the input with uh, an input with with three channels. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Take care.